What is up, YouTube? So I recently just got to see the film Lucy, which is directed by Luc Besson or Besson. Um, he's a French director, and he's done things in the past, like District Th B13, which is really popular in France. Um, it was released in the United States, and I'm a huge fan of it because it stars um, parkour legend David Bell and a couple of other people that are quite notable. He also helped write the remake and the American version of District B13, which was titled Brick Mansions and was essentially the same movie with Paul Walker and David Bell reprising, well not really reprising the role, but kind of stepping into the role that pretty much is essentially the same as it was before in the last movie. So this movie stars Scarlett Johansson. And my God, is Scarlett Johansson sexy as hell? Like, I swear to God, she's one of the few hot leading women in film history that is both tough and sexy and can play these really awesome, amazing roles. And I really did enjoy this movie. I had heard a lot of negative reviews about it before, and there are some really cliched mo moments about this movie. I really don't want to spoil this, but. Um, a few of the things that I did like about this movie is the fact that they didn't rely on heavy usage of shaky cam, which Luke Besson really likes to do in his movies. He likes to have those really like fast cut sequences and then there'll be tons of shaky cam during the action of some of his movies. And this one was actually surprisingly a little bit lighter on the shaky cam. There's like a few moments where he does do a little bit of shaky cam, but it's not overused, which definitely helps. Um, most of the action is filmed kind of smoothly and it's something that really does bother me now. Like I used to like it because it felt like it was a cool, it kind of puts you in the middle of it. And in certain situations, it does put you in the middle of the scene, but when it's overused, it just becomes kind of cumbersome and makes you feel a little bit queasy. But um, there's some mind blowing, like trippy stuff that happens in this movie. Um, it kind of has a couple snippets of like animal footage. And when I was sitting there watching this movie, I was kind of like, why in the world is this even in this movie? It doesn't really make sense. I get it. You're trying to put subliminal messages in people's heads that kind of humans are animalistic in nature, but we already kind of know that. You don't have to tell this that like 50 different times. I mean, if they used it like maybe once or twice in this movie, I probably would have kind of been okay with it, but using it multiple times just, it, it really annoyed me. It, he pretty much is using it just because he needed a cut scene, and so therefore in between the cuts of the film, he would splice in this animal footage, and it was kind of annoying at times. Um, basically what happens is Lucy is slipped with a package into her stomach, and she, throughout this entire movie, she's basically trying to get it out of her, and it's not only just her, but several other people as well. And they kind of globe trot to different countries and try to introduce the drug out. So apparently the guys can sell it and make money and profit off this new drug, which apparently makes people super smart, which is essentially the plot of Limitless, only the fact that this is like the ultra super drug of the drug that was in Limitless. And once this dr drug is implemented into your blood system, it basically makes you, or her, superwoman. Like, she was literally like the goddess of everything in this film. And while it wasn't as unique as it probably could have, I've seen tons of movies that are been kind of like this in the past. It did do some revolutionary things, and it really was thought-provoking. So, I had a lot of fun with it. I don't want to spoil everything that was in this movie, because there are some moments that you really should watch for yourself and kind of be kind of mind blown by this. I was really surprised at how short this movie was. Like I went and saw it at 8 o'clock and I think I got out about like 9 o'clock at night. So I was kind of looking at my watch and I'm like I could have just went and saw another movie after that because it was show so short but I really feel like for this type of movie it didn't really need to be too long because I felt like if it was too long then it would kind of get annoying and people would not like it as much because they'd probably tr have to try and fill tons of gaps into the story which I was fine with them cutting out stuff if they actually did that to make it shorter, but some of the actors in this movie, Morgan Freeman does an amazing job of this. He pretty much plays the same character that he did in Transcendence, and while Transcendence was really boring, this movie was, it was like, sort of like that, but a little bit more enjoyable. I wouldn't say this is the greatest movie in the world, because it definitely is not. There's still stuff that could be a little bit done a little bit better. The writing could have been a little bit better and this would have been a truly awesome summer blockbuster movie. But for the most part I feel like 
some of the globe charting scenes where they're in like France, Paris, and Rome are really amazing. I love seeing that stuff in movies where they kind of go to different countries and film. A lot of the action sequences that they did in this movie, they did it really good because I noticed when they go over to different countries, you're not allowed to do certain things that you are able to do in the United States. Like there's less action and stuff. But when they went into the different European state, states that are countries, I don't know why I said states, but they did a lot of action sequences that you normally otherwise wouldn't see. So I highly recommend this movie to anybody that's interested in science fiction and sort of the action adventure genre. This is definitely worth a check out, at least seen once. I might see it again, I don't know. Um, but it was thought provoking, it was a little bit trippy. I kind of felt like someone must have been high when they were kind of creating this movie because it definitely felt like something someone would create while they were like on drugs and kind of hallucinating stuff like this. But um, it was definitely a really wild blast of a movie and I wouldn't say it's like perfect, it's definitely not. It's still got some flaws and some moments where I was kind of sitting through the movie and I was kind of shaking my head at some of the stuff because you just don't like walk into a building holding a weapon like obviously some people would notice and they'd call the authorities on you and there would be a huge scene about it but um, for the most part they did a really good job of this movie I felt like the action was good the pacing was good and there was just some stuff that they should have fixed in order to make it a perfect movie but really good job to Luke Besson. You did an amazing job in this movie. Um, I know there's a lot of people that kind of hate this type of movie, but I guess you kind of pick and choose your audience, and I'm one of those people that really did enjoy this movie. Uh, I don't really do movie reviews of movies that I hate. I've tried to do it in the past, and I just, I won't do it because I don't want to see the movie in the first place if I know it's kind of crappy and has gotten shitty reviews. It's just not my type of thing, so um, you should definitely go check out this movie. I do have one story like I was kind of sitting in the movie and then I noticed this guy that was sleeping in the movie and I guess that is kind of why I say that this movie might not be for everyone. It might not particularly, um, it might not take like grasp someone's taste. It might be someone might like this movie while others might hate it. So it is really up to the person to go into this movie with kind of an open mind and kind of see the movie for yourself and then judge it afterwards that's pretty much all I can tell you but for people that are sci-fi junkies like myself you should definitely check this movie out either wait till it's on DVD or Netflix or whatever or go see this movie in theaters but I highly recommend that you see this movie at least once um, it's not too long so you shouldn't really worry about the timing of it because it's not like a two hour or three hour Peter Jackson movie where it's just kind of over overblown but you should definitely check this out so that is what I'm leaving with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this movie review. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.